Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to be making three easy DIY face masks. They're reusable and they got a filter pocket. So let's get into it. these masks are going to be upcycled you know we're all about sustainability here so we're going to be reusing fabric so the first one is a simple fold mask you could use a handkerchief a bandana or a scarf whichever one you're comfortable with whatever is going to feel better on your skin then you're going to get two hair ties or rubber bands or elastic whatever feels good on your ear so if you're gonna be having it on for a good bit of time, you want it to be comfy. And then we're just gonna be tucking everything and making sure that it's smooth. And there you go, you have a face mask. For the second mask, we're going to be reusing this old shirt. And we're going to go ahead and cut a 10 by 10 piece of fabric out of it and two eight by fives, just for the middle piece. This is going to, um, before the filter. Now we're going to sew along the edges. And after you've sewn along the edges, you want to use your seam or your iron to make sure that everything is flat and ready to go. Then you sew along the edges on the inside. And now we're going to fold it. We're going to fold it three times, right? So whenever you fold it, you want to use a pin to secure it just so it doesn't unravel because it's not gonna hold you know what i mean so just pin it as many times as you need we're going to go ahead and speed it up you're going to repeat this process two times just so you can get three folds there we go now you're going to sew vertical lines. I did this because I want it to fit the chin properly. And then you just tuck. Well, you're going to stitch along these ends just to make it more smooth. And now you're going to finally fold where you're going to, to secure the part where you're going to pull your elastic band through. Now you're going to cut. Well, I used a hair tie because elastic is finished everywhere and then you just use a pin on the ends and push it through it should come out like this and then you're going to secure the ends by stitching it back and forth as many times as you need just so it doesn't come loose and there you go you have a face mask and on the inside we have the filter pocket and I have been using the 3M what color the highest grade filter like it filters virus and everything now for the third mask just go on to google download a um a face mask pattern i didn't make this myself i can link it below and then you're going to need three sets so six pieces you want the outer layer the lining and then the piece for the filter pocket for the filter pocket the ends we are going to make it a little bit shorter because you don't want it coming all the way around to the ear you want it to be able to fit the filter and then we sewed along the edges and now for the piece that's going to be for the filter pocket we're going to zigzag along the edges to just so it doesn't fray <laughs> And then for the front piece, we're going to zigzag along the middle just to make it a little bit flatter, you know, and look nicer too. <laughs> there you go. So now, usually we do front size facing each other, but for the filter, the inner piece, we're going to place them together like this now we're going to do the um the right sides facing each other so we're going to attach three pieces together now you want to make sure that everything is aligned properly and then you just pin them in place you know you want to pin everything in place just so you sew smoothly and everything matches 
so there I go I'm making sure all three pieces are lining up it's the same pattern so when you do it um, right sides facing each other it should look like this and you just go ahead and stuck your pins in there sis Oh guys, if you find this video valuable so far, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hon. Why are you not subscribed? What are you doing? Now we're going to sew along the lines, along the edges, basically. And there you have it. Well, that isn't completed. We're going to turn it inside out. it's coming together and you want to make sure that the lining and the filter side are on the same side you don't want to pull it through on the incorrect side so pay attention to that when you're doing it and there you have it we have somewhat of a mask now we're going to add the elastic bands to the end where you have to tuck the there you go you gotta tuck the ends and you will notice that I have one short elastic band and one longer one because one piece of the elastic band goes around the neck and then the other piece I put like across the back of my head so you want a little bit more room for that for it to be a little bit more comfy just secure your elastic band into the end of the mask with the pin the shorter piece is for the bottom and the longer piece is for the top. So we're going to secure those and then we sew it. And I've been wearing this mask. This is what I wear to work. This is what I wear to the grocery store and it's it's good it's comfy you know if it's not big enough then you adjust the size and there you go the mask is um it's finished but bonus if you're a perfectionist like me and you don't want it to you know like lose shape you go along and sew go and sew along the edges no it's all set and there you have it, three easy DIY masks. Sis, let me know how your mask turned out and go ahead and share this to someone who it could help. See you next week for another Thrift Day Transformation. Thank you for watching.